Alizora Vasnima Naraya, requesting permission to dock with the Raya. Our system has your ship flag to Cerberus. Verify. After time adrift among open stars, along tides of light and through shoals of dust, I will return to where I began. Permission granted. Welcome home, Talizora. We'd like a security and quarantine team to meet us. Our ship is not clean. Understood. Approach exterior docking cradle 17. Captain Shepard, Tali Zora told me a lot about you. I wish we could be meeting under more pleasant circumstances. I never actually reached the rank of Captain. Technically, I'm no longer in the Alliance military at all. You're the commander of the Normandy, responsible for the lives of Ordic. That entitles you to respect among our people. May you stand between your crew and Harm as you lead them through the empty quarters of the stars. Keel us alive. It's an old ship captain's blessing, Shepard. What are the charges against Tally, Captain? The charge is treason, and the punishment if she is found guilty is exile. You know me, Captain. You know I never do that. They're charging you with bringing active Geth into the fleet as part of a secret project. That's insane. I never brought active Geth aboard. I only sent parts and pieces. You sent Geth materials back to the migrant fleet? Yes, my father was working on a project. He needed the materials. If I sent back something that was only damaged, not permanently inactive, no... No, no, I checked everything. I was careful. Technically, I'm under orders to place Tali Zora under arrest pending the hearing. So, Tali, you're confined to this ship until this trial is over. Thank you, Captain. Preparations got underway as soon as you arrived. The hearing's being held in the Garden Plaza. Good luck. You should speak with Admiral Ra. She's waiting for you up ahead. I can't believe they're charging Tali Zora with such a thing. If Tali Zora can't even get the Korean kept at the sand. Talizorobas Normandy. I am glad you came. I could delay them only so long. On the run! Shepard Vas Normandy, this is Admiral Shalaran Vas Tonbe. She's a friend of my father's. Wait, Ron, you called me Vas Normandy. I am afraid I did, Tali. The Admiralty Board moved to have you tried under that name, given your departure from the Nima. I take it being associated with the human ship is a bad sign. They stripped me of my ship name. That's as good as declaring me exiled already. It's not over yet, Tali. You have friends who still know you as Tali Zoravas Nima. Whatever we must call you legally. You're an admiral. Does that mean you're one of the judges? I'm afraid not. My history with Tali and her father forced me to recuse myself. I imagine father had to do the same. You'll see inside, Tali. For my part, I moderate and ensure that the rules of protocol are followed, but I have no vote in the judgment. I guess we should get started. Does Tali have a defense counselor? Someone who speaks for her side? Indeed she does, Captain Shepard. She is part of your crew now, recognized by Quarian law. And remember, an accused is always represented by his or her ship's captain. So, uh, you would actually speak for my defense? Tally, I'm not a lawyer. Hell, everyone thinks I'm part of Cerberus. Do you really think I can help you? They're trying to turn the crowd against me. That's why they changed my status to Vos Normandy. This whole trial is a farce. You underestimate us, Tally. Do not forget that you have friends as well as enemies. I delayed their attempt to try you in absentia. I convinced them to allow a human into our midst. You still have a chance. Present the truth as best you can. It will have to be enough. 
Now come. I promise that I would not delay you. This conclave is brought to order. Blessed are the ancestors who kept us alive, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this season. Kill us alive. The accused Talia Zora of West Normandy has come with her captain to defend herself against the charge of treason. Objection! A human has no business at a hearing involving such sensitive military matters. Then you should not have declared Tally crew of the Normandy, Admiral Chorus. By right as Tally's captain, Shepard must stay. Objection withdrawn. Shepard West Normandy, your crew member Tally Zora stands accused of treason. Will you speak for her? I shouldn't have to. When Tally helped me stop Saren and his Geth army, her actions spoke for themselves. Without her help, none of you would be alive to put her on trial today. Well said, Shepard. None of us should forget Tally's contributions to the fleet. Tally, you're accused of bringing active guests to the migrant fleet. What say you? Tally would never endanger the migrant fleet. She pleads not guilty. I left parts and technology for teams to pick up. My father ordered me to do so. But I would never send active guests to the fleet. Everything I sent was disabled and harmless. Then explain how Geth seized the lab ship where your father was working. What are you talking about? What happened? As far as we can tell, Tally, the Geth have killed everyone. On the Alarai. Your father included. What? Oh, Kila. I thought Quarians valued family. How do you justify springing this on Tally in the middle of a damn trial? Our apologies. Tally should have been informed. Shepard, we have to take back the Alarai. The safest course would be to simply destroy the ship. But if you are looking for an honorable death instead of exile... I'm looking for my father, you bastard! You intend to retake the Alurai from the Geth? This proposal is extremely dangerous. You think Tally's helping the Geth? Maybe killing a few dozen will prove her loyalty. We do not accuse Tally of aiding the Geth cause. We accuse her of carelessness that endangered the fleet. Then it is decided. You will attempt to retake the Alurai. You are hereby given leave to depart the Raya. A shuttle will be waiting at the secondary docking hangar. Be safe, Tali. This hearing will resume upon your return, or upon determination that you have been killed in action. Thank you for agreeing to take back the Alarai, Shepard. The Admiral sounds sure that my father is already dead, but... I don't know. We won't know anything until we get there. How are you holding up? They just threw a lot of fire at you, even before telling you about your father. I knew this would be bad, but I guess you're never really prepared to be charged with treason. And my father, I... I don't know. He... He could still be alive. They don't know for certain that he's dead. I just don't know, Shepard, and I need to find out. Is there anyone here you want to talk to before we go? We can talk with the Admirals. It might help us to see what their viewpoints are. But I doubt we'll change anyone's mind by talking to them privately. Let's go. Right. The sooner we get to the Alarai, the sooner we'll know what happened. 
Shepard, the secondary docking hangar is through the conclave chamber where you are now. The shuttle they have provided is unarmed. Understood. Whatever Geth are on the Alarai have likely built more of themselves. Expect heavy resistance. Loyalty to the fleet is about more than just killing Geth. Talizor is guilty. Doctor, those real. It's a husk, a collector minion. No, Vitor, this is Shepard, a friend of Talizora's. Shepard rescued you from Freedom's Progress. Do you remember? Shepard! Shepard gave me the Cerberus! Too many questions! Can't sleep! Can't eat! Wrong answers! Poor Vitor. What did Cerberus do to him? When they returned Vitor to us, he was suffering from malnutrition, exhaustion, dehydration, and the after effects of several drugs. Your patient was pretty disturbed when we found him. His health problems were effects of the Collector attack. Shepard! You're trying to justify what Cerberus did? To be fair, Talizora, most of the drugs I found in his system appear to have been from attempts to stabilize him and force a lucid state. It was brute force medicine, far less gentle than we would have preferred, but it was not physical torture. It doesn't need to be. I didn't mean to upset him. I'll leave. Doctor, is it time for the meds yet? I need my meds. Not yet, Vitor. Soon. Tali Zora, given the circumstances, are you certain that speaking to me is appropriate? I'm looking for information about the Alarai. I don't intend to bribe you in the middle of the plaza, Admiral. Pleasure to meet you, Commander Shepard. We owe you a debt of gratitude for your actions against the Geth. You didn't say much during the opening statements, Admiral. There wasn't much to say. This trial is a waste of time. It matters a great deal to me. If you and your father were actually experimenting on active Geth subjects, then you are simply idiots. No reason to waste resources on a trial. If not, then this was a tragic accident in the pursuit of a higher cause. Again, no trial is needed to determine that. If you're not interested in this trial, why not recuse yourself? And let that aging warship Han Geral and the cowardly Zal Chorus be the ones to chart this course? I think not. The broader purpose underlying the trial is too important. Tali Zora is only peripherally related. No offense intended. And what is the true purpose of this trial, Admiral? To determine whether Quarians should fear their past mistakes or reclaim their glory using our natural affinity for artificial intelligence. So the only reason you care about this is because Rael might have learned something valuable from the Geth? Indeed. If he has, then even in this accident we may find something worthwhile. You want to create new AIs? No, Tali Zora. I wish to return the Geth to the control of their rightful masters, the Quarian race. You're insane. It sounds like your ideas about synthetics are in the minority. Yes, at least on the Admiralty board, Han Geralt sees an enemy that must be crushed. Salchorus would run away and hide on some new colony world. Shalaran is still undecided. I had thought Rail to be firmly in Han's camp, but if his experiments were on active Geth, perhaps we have ideas in common. You support experiments on living creatures? Rael should have felt no more guilt experimenting on Geth than I did while performing surgery on a childhood toy. The fact that you performed surgery on your childhood toys explains a great deal, Admiral. A ship travels faster than I can. With the right programming, it can choose locations, even defend itself when attacked. But it is just a machine. It was built for the sole purpose of serving its master, and it can be dismantled whenever its master desires. If we don't find Rael alive on the Alarai, what do you think will happen? The power balance will be disrupted. Han loses a vote for his foolish and self-destructive war. That would favor peace then, as Shalaran is too careful to risk her own neck. But, if the Admiral replacing Rail agrees with me, things could become very exciting. Can you tell me anything about the Alarai? Little. We detected several communication signatures before the Geth jammed the comm systems. Given the likely networked intelligence requirements for taking over a ship, expect between 10 and 50 units. Then this can't have anything to do with me. I only sent parts and pieces and certainly not enough to make that many guess. Thank you for the information. It was a pleasure to meet you, Commander.
shepherds of well to be You set me up, Shala. You told Captain Donna not to say anything? I don't hear that my father may be dead until I'm in the trial? Why? The admirals needed to hear the shock in your voice, Tali. Otherwise, they might not have let you try to retake the Allery. That is your best chance at recovering evidence that can exonerate you. I am sorry. We cannot afford sensitivity, Tali. At least someone here is looking out for Tali. Will retaking the Allery really help her case? Tali showing a desire to correct mistakes she may have made will make up for a lot of lost ground. But more importantly, you may find evidence of what happened. With luck, it will exonerate Tali from any wrongdoing. I'm supposed to care about that now? All I want to do is find Father. You should get to the Alarai soon. Is there anything else I can tell you? What can you tell us about the Alarai? Not much, I'm afraid. Real Zora only said that he was researching new defense technology. He told me only that he needed any Geth parts or pieces I found. I assumed he was testing weapons on Geth components. We knew nothing until the Alarai sent a distress signal, then went dead. We didn't even know about the Geth until a boarding team was attacked. You're saying there's no data about the inside of the ship? That's exactly what I am saying. The Marines who survived and escaped saw bodies in the halls. We must assume the worst. No, we don't. What kind of evidence will carry weight with the Admirals? Tali, you admitted to sending Geth parts to your father for his project. Yes, but never anything that could have come back online on its own. I took every possible precaution. Then find records of your shipment and experiments. Something that proves you were careful. Something that proves that this is all just a terrible accident that nobody could have foreseen. There seem to be some other arguments going on among the Admirals. You caught that. Yes, the guest presence makes this a touchy issue. The Admiralty Board is trying to determine whether to focus on colonial development or attempt to retake the home world. You're thinking of war with the Geth? I am not, Tali, but others are. I know the migrant fleet is formidable, but even you can't take on the Geth. We grow tired of wandering the stars, Shepard. We want our world back. We have paid enough for our mistake. I'm not giving you my opinion. I'm telling you which way the wind is blowing. How long have you known Tally's family? Since before Riel was an admiral. 25 or 30 years, I'd guess. I was there when Tally was born. Her mother and I had synced up our suits so we could be in the same open air room. I was sick for a week. But it was worth it. I was the one who took Tally from her mother and put her in the bubble. She cried so hard. I don't understand. You put your children in bubbles? Environmental units. It's a step between relying on the mother's immune system through nursing and getting a suit of one's own. The bubbles let parents take their children out of the clean room safely. We don't wear suits until adolescence. There's a celebration when a child gets her first suit. It's a coming of age. I'm not hearing much about Rail's involvement in Tally's life. It's difficult to explain. I shouldn't. It's all right, Anshala. No secrets between shipmates. I think I told Shepard about my father. If you say so, Riel was committed to the Quarian cause. That didn't leave him a lot of time for his family. He wanted to give Tally and her mother the home world, or a strong fleet at least. That was how he showed his love. We should move on. Good luck on the Alarai. Tally. I'm glad Admiral Ron got you leave to hit the Alarai. Hopefully you'll find something that clears your name. I'm more concerned with finding my father, Admiral. I wish you luck. Blow up some geth on the way. And your Captain Shepard, Admiral Hangarel Vasnima. To be honest, I was afraid a human would be too meek and humble. 
Watching you rail away at Admiral Corris, though, tallies in good hands. I get the sense you're inclined to believe the defense. I'm glad one of the judges is. If you were only giving rail inactive equipment for weapons, Tess, I've got no problem. We need to test weapons against Geth material. I know you and your father. You put too much of yourselves into this fleet to do anything to jeopardize our safety. And you're both smart enough not to make mistakes like the ones they're saying you made. You and Tally's father go back a long ways? We served together on the gunship Yasko during a bad Batarian raid. We were kids, serving pre-pilgrimage as trainees. Crew of ten, and six were dead. Kinetic barriers were down. Rail and I were alone on the bridge and the Batarians had drawn off a tramp freighter. Did you save the freighter? Our ship was under orders to hold position, but Rail looked to me and said, we're underage. We can't charge us for breaking formation. He took the helm, I took weapons, and we brought that freighter back. The crew called us heroes. The brass called us idiots. They slapped medals on our suits, then kicked us off to pilgrimage a bit earlier than usual. <sighs> That's rail for you. Can you tell me about the other admirals? Anything that might help me change their minds about Tally? The one you didn't recognize Tally is Admiral Zen. She's on the fence. She takes fleet safety very seriously. On the other hand, she's always been in favor of studying the Geth. I hope she sees the benefits of Rail's research. Admiral Chorus is the same whining soup wetter he always was. You disagree with Admiral Chorus's policies, I'm guessing. Or is it personal? Man is a damn Geth apologist. Thinks we were wrong to try to destroy them centuries ago. He wants us to search for new colony possibilities instead of taking back the home world. Any research on the Geth makes him angry. You don't have much of a chance with him, I'm afraid. It sounds like we're dealing with more politics than just Tally bringing back equipment. <laughs> you noticed that, did you? Tally's father wasn't just running weapons tests on the Geth for fun. He was looking for something to give us an edge when we attacked the Geth in full-scale war. I know Father wanted to retake the homeworld someday, but are we that close? I don't know, kid. We almost had the vote. We just need to give people hope for victory. I hope the Quarian people find some place to live, Admiral. But it sounds like you're playing with fire. We're too comfortable now, Shepard. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy and we just ride around doing nothing. We might need that fleet to help fight the Reapers, Admiral. Then we need a world to shelter our non-combatants while we do it. Could you tell me anything about the Alarite? Nothing good. We sent some of our best Marines into that hellhole. Damn few made it back. Whatever Rail was doing, it blew up in his face. A ship is crawling with Geth. Don't go in expecting survivors. Admiral! My father, your friend, is on that ship! I know that, Tully. But if Shala hadn't suggested you might volunteer, we'd already have destroyed the Alarai. That's where we stand. Thanks for the information. Hang in there, kid. Thank you, Admiral. Judging by your ability to play to a crowd, human, I have done Talia a favor by stripping Vas Nima from her name. Commander Shepard, this is Admiral Zalcoris Vas Quibquib. Do not ask about the name. I take no pleasure in this, Tali, truly. But you have gravely endangered and dishonored our fleet. What exactly is your problem with my crew member, Admiral? I respect Tali immensely. Her actions against Sarah are to be lauded. But, like her father, she wants nothing but the destruction of the Geth. The people we created, the people we wronged. The Geth drove us from our homeworld. Of course they did. We tried to kill them. You and the other admirals appear to have some disagreements beyond Tally's trial. You are correct. Charlie, I apologize for it being brought into your proceedings. The other admirals are pushing for war. 
Grail Zora was researching new weapons to use against the Geth. They would see our fleet destroyed in the skies over our homeworld, rather than find a new colony and adapt. Can the Quarians coexist with the Geth after all your history? I don't know. We all deserve to find out. They are our children, Shepard. We have all done horrible things to each other, but it has to end. For both groups. That is why I cannot sanction whatever experiments you helped enable, Talizora. I believe this message needs to be sent. I understand, Admiral. I do not agree with you, but I understand. Can you tell me anything about the Alarai? Only that you should have let us destroy it. When we find the evidence of what Tali and her father did there, any hope of convincing the other admirals will die. I did not bring active Geth to the Alarai, Admiral. I know how dangerous that would be. I only brought pieces. The captured ship with its crew slaughtered by living beings in pain belies your argument. You have a ship named Quip Quip? Oh, here we go. Our people have, during difficult periods, purchased pre-owned vessels from other cultures. And have, on occasion, had difficulty altering the ship's registry information. The citizens of these foreign-named ships have borne the stigma of these names with grace and honor. If it bothers you, maybe you should find another ship. I've occasionally entertained the idea of requesting a transfer. Something with a nice, respectable name, like the Defrans or the Ictomy. But I am proud of the Quip Quip. And I will not flee because of petty insults. We should move on. Goodbye, Talizora. Be well. I'm surprised to hear you say that. I don't hate you, Tali. I just think your father's plans for war were wrong. Zora and her father are out of control. This is on their heads. Talizora Vas Nima. Oh, uh, sorry. I mean Vas Normandy. No offense taken. The change in name was not my choice. Her Admiral Rand's orders. The shuttle is prepared for you and Captain Shepard Vas Normandy. Can you tell us anything about what we'll find on the Alarai? I'm afraid I don't know much. Not many marines made it back from the initial assault. They talked about massive waves of geth, though. More than there should have been. There shouldn't have been any at all. Uh, all right. I mean that they're afraid the geth are building, or repairing more of themselves, from materials on the Alarai. Let's head to the Alarai. Of course. I'll unlock the shuttle now. Good luck with those geth, Talizora. Kira Selai.
can do. <laughs> Moving to position. Oh. This is one of the storage units I sent to father. Looks like parts from a disabled repair drone, plus a reflex algorithm that I didn't recognize. I got this on Haystrom. What made a part worth sending back to your father? It had to be in working order, something that could be analyzed and integrated into other technology. Anything new had priority. Technology the Geth had developed themselves, signs of modification, clues to their thinking. Hastrum was a war zone. How did you salvage gear in the middle of all that? These suits have more pockets than you'd think. Quarians have learned how to salvage whatever we can, whenever we can. Within reason. We're not Vorcha, but we repair what most people would throw away. Hundreds of the ships in our fleet were salvaged wrecks, either found dead in space or purchased for next to nothing. How did you get these things to your father? Sometimes I left packages at secure drops in civilized areas. Someone on pilgrimage would see that it was shipped home. For very valuable finds, I'd signal home and father would send a small ship. Does that salvaged gear give you a clue as to what happened here? No, I don't know. Shepard... I checked everything I sent here. I passed up great finds because they might be too dangerous, prone to uncontrolled reactivation or self-repair. I don't know which possibility is worse. That I got sloppy and sent something dangerous, or that father actually did all this.
might have something. Most of the data is corrupted, but a few bits are left. They were performing experiments on Geth systems, looking for new ways to overcome Geth resistance to reprogramming. Did you know what kind of tests your father was running? No, father just told me to send back any Geth technology I could find that wasn't a direct danger to the fleet. I suspected he might be testing weapons, but I thought he was just working on new ways to bypass shields or armor. Do you think testing weapons on the Geth was right? It's not testing weapons on prisoners, Shepard. I only sent Father parts. Even if he assembled them, they wouldn't be sapient. You saw what Saren and Sovereign did with the Geth. Any research that gives us an advantage is important. We should keep moving. Right. <laughs> moving out of line of fire.
not a problem. <laughs> Or, or an onboard medical stasis program, maybe. You, you wouldn't. They're wrong. You wouldn't just die like this. You wouldn't leave me to clean up your mess. You can't. Every Geth on this ship will die, Tally. It won't bring him back. But it's what he would have wanted. I don't care what he would have wanted, Shepard. I wanted a father who cared about me more than his war effort. I wanted a father who would take the sick leave time and let me see his face without a helmet in the way. Instead, I got orders. And this, and a panel of admirals who think I'm a traitor, those were my father's gifts to me. Come on, Tally. You don't have to stay here. Yes, I do. Someone in this family needs to stop walking away. He had to know I'd come. Maybe he left a message. Tally, if you are listening, then I am dead. The guests have gone active. I don't have much time. Their main hub will be on the bridge. You'll need to destroy. 
try to stop the VI processes from forming new neural links. Make sure Hangel and Darozen see the data. They must. Thanks, Dad. You don't know how he would have ended that message. Yes. I do. Come on. Let's finish this. console is linked to the main hub father mentioned. Disabling it shut down any geth we missed. It looks like some of the recordings remained intact. They'll tell us how this happened, what father did. Play the recording. Do we have enough parts to bring more online? Yes, the new shipment from your daughter will let us add two more geth to the network. We're nearing a breakthrough on systemic viral attacks. Perhaps we should inform the Admiralty Board. Just to be safe. No. We're too close. I promised to build my daughter a house on the home world. I'm not going to sit and wait while the politicians argue. We'd have an easier time of it if Tally Zora could send back more working material. Absolutely not. I don't want Tally exposed to any political blowback. Leave Tally out of this. Assemble a new guest with what we have. Bypass security protocols if need be. Your father was deliberately networking the Geth to Sapiens to do weapons tests. That breaks our most sacred laws. Laws that predate our flight from the homeworld. Everything here is his fault. I, I tried to pretend it didn't point to him, but this... When this comes up in the trial, they'll... We can't tell them. Not the Admirals, not anyone. Rail Zora doesn't need you to worry about him anymore. You heard him say he didn't want you to be caught in the politics. You don't understand, Shepard. They would strike his name from the manifest of every ship he ever served on. He would be worse than an exile. He'd be a traitor to our people, held up for children as a monster in a cautionary tale. I can't let all the good he did be destroyed for this, Shepard. Tally, without this evidence, you're looking at exile. You think I don't know that? You think I want to live knowing that I can never see the fleet again? But I can't go back into that room and say that my father was the worst war criminal in our people's history. I cannot. We're not going to decide anything here. Let's see what the Admiral say once we get back. You're my captain in this hearing, Shepard. It's your decision. But please, don't destroy what my father was. 
Come on. If we wait too long, they'll decide we're already dead, and none of this will matter. We need to face facts. There has been no word. There is no reason to think Tali Zora survived. It sounds like the hearing is already underway. Shepard was right. Springing the information about rail on Tali, we practically... Very well. Is the Admiralty Board prepared to render judgment? Sorry, we're late. You didn't waste much time declaring us dead. Go get your ship. We apologize, Shepard. Your success in taking back the Alarai is... very unexpected. But also very welcome. Did you find anything on the Alarai that could clarify what happened there? Shepard, please. Does Captain Shepard have any new evidence to submit to this hearing? Tally's achievements are the only evidence you should need. Come on, Tally. We're leaving. What? This is a formal proceeding! Wrong, Admiral. This is a sham. You're trying to build sympathy for the Geth that forced all the war effort. <laughs> that is completely... And you want all the messy experiments covered up so you can throw your fleet at the Geth. I... I... Do whatever you want with your toy ships, but leave my crew out of your political bullshit. We have no new evidence. You can accept Tali's word, or you can exile the woman who saved the Citadel from the Geth. Are the Admirals prepared to render the judgment? Tali Zora, in light of your history of service, we do not find sufficient evidence to convict. You are cleared of all charges. Commander Shepard, please accept these gifts in appreciation for you taking the time to represent one of our people. With this trial over, I hope you can get back to more important matters, like taking your homeworld back from the Geth. We'll drink a toast on the homeworld, Shepard. Mark my words. This hearing is concluded. Go in peace, Tali Zora Vas Normandy. Kill us alive. I can't believe you pulled that off. What you said. It's been a while since anyone shouted down the Admiralty Board. I think it was good for them. Thank you for being there for my father and me. Even when... Thank you. Tell me about what your father said, what he did. You deserve better. I got better, Shepard. I got you. We can still go back in and get you exiled if you want. <laughs> Thanks. But I'm fine with things like this. It's fun watching you shout. Come on, Talizora Vas Normandy. Let's get back to our ship. Thank you, Captain. This looks interesting. speech, Commander Shepard. But tell me truly, did you recover any of Rail Zora's research on the Alarai? Nothing that will help you, Admiral. Pity. Oh well. Whatever is created can be recreated. In any event, I am pleased that our talk regarding the war conundrum allowed you to help Tali. Her exile would have been unfortunate. I hope you reclaim your homeworld someday. I don't care how you do it. Only that you succeed. Thank you, Commander. Hello. 
Sarai was a good start, but there are lots more get out there that need killing. The Admirals thought they were hobbling you by forcing you to represent her, Shepard. I'm glad they were wrong. You didn't mention survivors. Did you find real Tali? I am sure he would have left you a message if he'd had time. He did leave a message. Real used his last words to give Tali orders. That's all that mattered to him. I know how that might seem, but the fleet's safety was the gift Real wanted to give to his daughter. I never asked for that. It wasn't the gift I wanted. I know, but it's the only one you could give. Good luck on your mission. No matter how dark it gets, the fleet is always with you. Kill us alive. You called us on the carpet out there, Shepard, and you were right. Thank you. Tally shouldn't have been involved in that argument. Tell me, though, honestly, what did you find over there? You spoke well, but I know a faint when I see it. Nothing the fleet ever needs to find out about. Admiral, you know I turn over anything of value to the fleet. What we found there wasn't. I'll take your word for it, Tally. Not that I have much choice. Fight well and fly safe, kid. Your father would be proud of you. Very impressive, Shepard. Thank you for your help on the Alarai. And thank you for helping Rail Zora's daughter. You stood for her when we failed. We were wrong to let our own concerns about the war overshadow Tali's trial. The Geth aren't going away, Admiral. The best hope for your people is to retake your homeworld. I would argue that the best hope for our people is not to be destroyed in a senseless war. But I fear I am in the minority. Goodbye, Commander. And good luck. I knew they wouldn't exile Kali Zora. The talk of war gives me hope. Maybe we can retake the whole world in my lifetime. I can't believe Tali and her captain took back the Alarai. Congratulations, Tali Zora. I was skeptical about your choice in captains, but I see now that I was wrong. Thank you, Captain. I'm just glad that this is over. You'll always have a place on the Rai, whenever you decide to come home. Good luck out there. Congratulations again, 